Julie Deborah Kavner is an American film and television actress, comedian and voice artist. Noted for her role as Marge Simpson on the animated television series The Simpsons, she also voices other characters for the show, including Jacqueline Bouvier, and Patty and Selma Bouvier. Born in Los Angeles, Kavner grew up in Southern California, attending Beverly Hills High School and later San Diego State University. Known for her improvisation and distinctive honeyed gravel voice, Kavner was cast in her first professional acting role as Brenda Morgenstern in Rhoda in 1974. She received a supporting actress in a comedy series Primetime Emmy Award in 1978 and several more award nominations for playing the character. Following Rhoda, Kavner was cast in The Tracy Ullman Show, which debuted in 1987. The Tracy Ullman Show included a series of animated shorts about a dysfunctional family. Voices were needed for the shorts, so the producers decided to ask Kavner to voice Marge. The shorts would eventually be spun off into The Simpsons. Kavner has been described as nearly reclusive. Part of her contract says that she will never have to promote The Simpsons on video. For her work as Marge, Kavner received a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Voiceover Performance in 1992 and an Annie Award nomination for her performance as the character in The Simpsons movie. Typically cast as a woman who is supportive, sympathetic, or self effacingly funny, Kavner grew to dislike playing such roles. In 1992, she starred in This Is My Life, her first leading role in a feature film. Kavner has also appeared in live action roles in seven films written by Woody Allen, and in the Adam Sandler comedy Click. Early life Kavner was born in Los Angeles, California on September 7, 1950, the second daughter of Rose, a family counselor, and David Kavner a furniture manufacturer. She decided to pursue a career in acting because, there was nothing else I wanted to do, ever. She attended Beverly Hills High School, which she later admitted she hated. She was something of a loner in high school and unsuccessfully tried out for several plays. John Ingle, formerly the chairman of the Beverly Hills High School Art Department, later commented that Kavner was excellent at improvisation but she wasn't an ingenue and not that castable at that age. After graduating from high school, Kavner attended San Diego State University and majored in drama. Kavner was cast in several productions at the university, such as a role as Charlotte Corday in Marat Sad. She became known for her improvisation and ability to do both comedy and drama. She graduated in 1971 and got a day job as a typist at the UCLA School of the Arts and Architecture. Career, Early career in 1973 Kavner auditioned for a role as one of Rhoda Morgenstern's sisters in the Mary Tyler Moore show. David Davis, producer of the show, had convinced her to audition for the part, but decided to cast another actress instead. A year later, Rhoda Morgenstern became the leading character in a spin-off called Rhoda. Kavner was cast in her first professional acting role as Brenda Morgenstern, sister of the eponymous character. Rhoda debuted on CBS on September 9, 1974 and was cancelled in December 1978. She received four Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Continuing Performance by a Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for Playing Brenda, and won the award in 1978. She also received four Golden Globe Award nominations. In 1975, she received Daytime Emmy Award nomination for her starring role in the daytime special The Girl Who Couldn't Lose. Following Rhoda, Kavner had a guest appearance on Taxi and appeared in the 1985 comedy Bad Medicine as well as the 1987 film Surrender, both of which were box office failures. She appeared in the television movies Revenge of the Stepford Wives, No Other Love and A Fine Romance, and shot a television pilot. She also starred in several stage plays, including a play called It Had to Be You at a Dinner Theatre in Canada, Particular Friendships in New York in 1981, and Two for the Seesaw, directed by Burt Reynolds. Woody Allen first saw Kavner one night while he was watching Rhoda in the 1970s. He thought that she was remarkable and later offered her a role in his 1986 film Hannah and Her Sisters. Kavner agreed and credits Allen and the film with rejuvenating her career. Kavner was then cast as a sidekick to Tracy Ullman in The Tracy Ullman Show, 
which debuted on Fox in 1987. Cave Nair described the show as, like being back in school, a chance to play a wide variety of characters, some really vicious people, to not rest on laurels, to not play it safe. Cave Nair commented, What I do is not mimicry or an impersonation, but more of an assimilation. On the Tracy Ullman show we did a lot of looking at people to find out who to base our characters on. We did our homework on our lunch hour. She received four Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Best Individual Performance in a Variety or Music Program. The Simpsons, Cave Nair became most famous for her role as Marge Simpson on the animated television show The Simpsons, a show that continues to the present. The Tracy Ullman show included a series of animated shorts about the dysfunctional Simpson family. Voices were needed for the shorts, so the producers decided to ask Cave Nair and fellow cast member Dan Castellana to voice Marge and Homer rather than hire more actors. Cave Nair has what Hilary Devlis of the New York Times described as a honeyed gravel voice. Cave Nair says her distinctive voice is due to a bump on her vocal cords. Although Marge is her most famous character, Cave Nair's favorite characters to voice are her sisters Patty and Selma Bouvier because they're really funny and sad at the same time. Series creator Matt Groening instructed Cave Nair to voice the duo as characters who suck the life out of everything. Both have similar raspy voices, but Patty's voice is more masculine and has a lower register, while Selma's voice is a little sweeter. Cave Nair also provides the voices of every other female member of the Bouvier family, including Marge's mother Jacqueline, great aunt Gladys, and an unnamed grandmother seen on the season 6 episode Fear of Flying. Part of Cave Nair's contract says that she will never have to promote The Simpsons on video and she rarely performs Marge's voice in public because she believes it destroys the illusion. People feel these are real people. Cave Nair takes recording sessions seriously and feels that voice acting is, a little more limiting than live acting. And I have nothing to do with my character's movement. Nancy Cartwright, who voices Bart Simpson, said in her book My Life as a Ten-Year-Old Boy that Cave Nair is a workhorse of an actor with extraordinary professionalism and quiet work ethic, and notes that she is rarely late for recording sessions. Until 1998. Cave Nair was paid $30,000 per episode. During a pay dispute in 1998, Fox threatened to replace the six main voice actors with new actors, going as far as preparing to cast new voices. However, the dispute was soon resolved and she received $125,000 per episode until 2004 when the voice actors demanded that they be paid $360,000 an episode. The issue was resolved a month later and Cave Nair earned $250,000 per episode. After salary renegotiations in 2008, the voice actors received approximately $400,000 per episode. Three years later, with Fox threatening to cancel the series unless production costs were cut, Cave Nair and the other cast members accepted a 30% pay cut, down to just over $300,000 per episode. At the 44th Primetime Emmy Awards, Cave Nair received a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Voiceover Performance for voicing Marge in the Season 3 episode I Married Marge. In 2004, Cave Nair and Dan Castellaneta won a Young Artist Award for Most Popular Mom and Dad in a TV series. For her performance in The Simpsons movie, Cave Nair was nominated for Best Voice Acting in an Animated Feature at the 2007 Annie Awards, but lost to Ian Holm from Ratatouille. Cave Nair's emotional performance in the movie got positive reviews and one critic said she gave what must be the most heartfelt performance ever to find its way into a movie based on an irreverent cartoon. Some scenes in the movie, such as Marge's emotional video message to Homer, were recorded over 100 times, leaving Cave Nair exhausted. Further career, many of Cave Nair's roles have been described by New York Times writer Hilary Devlis as a woman who is supportive sympathetic or self-effacingly funny. Cave Nair grew to despise playing such roles, saying if it smacks of Brenda Morgenstern, one won't take the job. She had a supporting role as Eleanor Costello, a nurse who befriends Robin Williams' character in the Academy Award-nominated film Awakenings. Cave Nair interviewed several nurses in preparation for the role, and Penny Marshall, the director of the film, described Cave Nair as a low-maintenance actor.
you never have to worry about giving, her backstory for her characters. In 1992, Cave Nair starred in This Is My Life, her first leading role in a feature film. Cave Nair played Dottie Angels, an aspiring stand-up comedian who starts neglecting her family when her career begins to take off. Cave Nair described Dottie as really selfish, but admitted, I liked the role for that very reason. Cave Nair had been asked to play a character with a smaller role in the film, but Joe Roth, at the time the chairman of 20th Century Fox, suggested that they cast a lesser-known actress in the lead role. Nora Ephron, the writer of This Is My Life said Cave Nair, has so little vanity that it is almost shocking. Not only does she have no demands as an actress a euro, how big is my trailer, what's in my refrigerator? A euro, but she will do anything for the character if it makes sense to her. Cave Nair has frequently appeared in Woody Allen films, having roles in Hannah and Her Sisters, Radio Days, New York Stories, Alice, Shadows and Fog, the television movie Don't Drink the Water and Deconstructing Harry. Alan described her as a naturally funny person. When she does a scene you listen to her and look at her and the prism through which it's all filtered is funny. Cave Nair believes he is a true filmmaker, one that has something to say, continually experimenting on different themes within his own filmmaking, adding that anything, Alan ever does, I always want to do. I don't even have to read it. She has done voiceover work in films such as The Lion King 1 or 1 half, Dr. Dolittle and an uncredited role as an announcer in A Walk on the Moon. Her most recent live-action film was a role of the mother of Adam Sandler's character in Click. She has also worked with Tracy Ullman in the HBO sketch comedy series Tracy Takes On, Personal Life, Cave Nair leads a private, nearly reclusive life, discreet and guarded beyond the usual reticent star routine. She rarely makes public appearances and refuses to allow herself to be photographed at work. Her partner is retired producer David Davis. They have lived together since 1976. In a 1992 interview with the New York Times, Cave Nair said she was considering retiring, except for doing three days a year for Woody Allen, but felt that if she did retire, she would receive a script she wanted to do more than life itself. Filmography, film, television, video games, The Simpsons A Year A Marge Simpson, Storybook Viva A Maisie Bird, The Simpsons Cartoon Studio A Year A Marge Simpson, Virtual Springfield A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, Simpsons Bowling A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, The Simpsons Wrestling A Year A Marge Simpson, The Simpsons, Road Regia A Year A Marge Simpson, The Simpsons Skateboarding A Year A Marge Simpson, The Simpsons, Hit and Run A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, Storybook Weaver Deluxe Maisie Bird, The Simpsons Gamia A Year A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, The Simpsons, Tap Tata. A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, Music Video, Do the Bartman A A Year A Marge Simpson, Theme Park, The Simpsons Ready A Year A Marge Simpson, Patty and Selma Bouvier, Awards, References. External links, Julie Cave Nair at the Internet Movie Database.